We are waiting on plates to be made. Yep. So what is the uh, the fine copper wire? <laughs> so for that we need copper foil. Interesting. And how do we make copper foil? We make it using a bending machine that we don't have or by hand. Oh, just with plates. Okay, and a hammer. One plate, two foils. So each foil makes one wire, doing it the hard way. Okay, so one plate to two wires, and we need eight. So we need four more plates. So we need six more pieces of copper. In here. There we go. <laughs> Save me any vodka. Southern Comfort Weekend Chug. I I have no uh, alcohol. I have water. <laughs> yeah, four years sober. Oh, almost night time. It's getting a little cramped in this room <laughs> between all the things. Yeah. I mean, having a drink in moderation isn't the end of the world. It's not a bad thing, but uh, it's not really worth it for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have this alumite ingot in my inventory, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with it at some point. I just don't know what. First, we're gonna get, get this whole wire situation situation sorted. Okay, so uh, the first thing. So we needed. Um, how many? How many of what? Twenty four. Okay, so that's why we have twenty four here. Checks out. She brings you energy drinks. I uh, I used to really drink a lot of energy drinks, like um, well, at one point Red Bulls, but then more like Full Throttle and Monster and Rockstar, all all of those things. Um, it wasn't really related to that, or at least I don't think so. But um, I had to go to the ER because of like you know like stomach pain, just like somewhere in there something was wrong. And they ended up having to take out my call bladder. Uh, in between, um, you know, I was just going about my life, drinking energy drinks, and there was, um, I mean, we don't have to talk about the details, but let's just say some of the experiences that in that interval of time put me off of energy drinks. Yeah. Uh, let's see, hammer that way, yes. All right, so now we're gonna make eight foils. Yes. All right, and then foil. And you can see this kind of sort of makes sense, although which way do I need to put the... Oh, it's on the, the other hand, on the other side. Foil and wire cutter. wire cutters are getting low all right so that's all the wires to be made made now we need to make the red alloy wire and the tin cable 
I live off Doritos and Mountain Dew? Uh, no. Mmm. I, I don't think so. How do we make red red al blah, red alloy cable? <laughs> okay, a rubber sheet uh, and a wire. Uh, so I feel like we mm, skipped a step. Aha. Okay, at this stage, making cables by hand with rubber sheets is faster and cheaper than using the alloy smelter recipe for the cables with the sheets. Be able to do a thing. Yeah, I don't really. I don't know. I mean, I remember drinking Mountain Dew. Even. I, I had one like in the last year. I would not choose to drink it. Okay, so. I was trying to understand. It's a rubber sheet. How can we make rubber sheets? Bending machine, forge hammer. Okay, we can forge hammer. Three to two. Then what is this other quest trying to get us to do? Cast it? Oh, make a mold. Okay. We don't need to do this though. It's so like the only ones that are really essential for progression are the ones that have little things over here. Pokemon, I choose you. I uh, saw it on a Pokemon advert at some point in my life. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we have rubber sheets anyway. Uh, somewhere. There were 13 we got from that dungeon. We also have a block mold and a couple molds. Okay, so anyway, um, I think we just take this and this. Hey, look, cable. good one yeah half, half my life has been full of adverts yeah uh, considering I'm streaming on a service that is <laughs> running ads uh, you might think I, I like ads but I mean who likes ads I don't Yeah, so those are the cables done. Fruit crumble. Fancy. Let's claim that. Uh, unlike the large bacon sandwich, which we have eaten before. I wonder if there's... Can we do anything with that? We could can it. <laughs> okay. Uh, ads make your day that a little bit more boring. Yes. Why would you want that? <laughs> I mean, probably more than zero times Foxy. But it was something that I was going to buy anyway? Or something that... Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of a specific example. I don't want to say never. So, uh, the big thing that we still can't see yet. Right, it's hidden, it's down here. Okay. So we still have a ways to go. So I, I'm pretty sure I said at the beginning of this today that we weren't gonna get to LV today, but we're on the we're on the road to it. Uh, when tele shopping comes on the TV at 1 a.m. Yeah. Right, food ad. 
Order mm, food. Yes. Okay, so we have a lot of steps still to get to here. Steam malicious. Because we need to go down this path and make motors. We need to go down this path and make machine hulls. We need to go over here and make some, um, I think these are vacuum tubes, which means we also have to complete this direction. Like we completed here, we need to complete this, work our way down here. Electronic circuit. I want food just seeing a name of food, sure. <laughs> Resistors. Okay. So technically we do need to make two resistors to do a thing. So let's see. Oh, we do need glue. Ooh, or sticky resin. Or slime ball. Uh, someone in your game called Burger234, something like that. <laughs> I mean, there are burgers. Here we go. Here's a, lar here's a large bacon sandwich. Here's a fruit crumble. There's so many foods, actually, in this. Uh, let's see. What's a good way? Wait, 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 wait. There was something in um, in the quest book. I've been meaning to look this up, actually, now that you've reminded me of it. Tips and tricks, maybe? There's a thing it was telling us about. Let's switch this view mode back over. There's something it was telling us about to find foods that we've not eaten yet. Um, I mean, it was a it was a quest like this. <laughs> well, you, you brought it up, and now I have to think about. Um, first night, too many keys, number in his corners, better questing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. I need to sleep. Oh no. Hey, Foxy, you got your wish. I wonder if we could go to the nether on the Blood Moon. Would that be better or worse? Oh, boy. See, there's the Blood Moon. Ignore the creeper. Run, run, run. That was not what I meant to pick up. Safe. <laughs> Have some fruit crumble while we wait. <sighs> well. Now we have a ton of mobs everywhere. <laughs> some of them will despawn. Some of them will burn up come day. There'll be some left. Probably the worst ones. Honestly, if anything's gonna blow up though, I mean, we do have like most of our food stuff over here and that would be bad, but imagine having, uh, you know, all of our machinery and stuff blow up. <laughs> Yeah, eventually. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I actually need to be down here.
like I'm pretty safe in this room I think since I blocked off the door but you can see that's like a cave spider Hey, look, I get some string there. How is the lunchbox doing? Uh, we should maybe cook some more potatoes, except I don't think I have fuel here. Can I use lignite coal? I can't. I got potatoes, right? That's what that is, yeah. There we go. Hmm. Zombies and skeletons and spiders. Oh my. Such a, a pleasant red hue over everything as well. So we were looking at the quest book, uh, at some food stuff, but I can't seem to find where it was anyway. Uh, maybe molds next? We do have steel. We could potentially make all of these molds. You need them to make vacuum tubes, ingots, gears, and more. Um, we actually do have two of these that we got from the the uh, loot games dungeon the other stream the other ones we just have to cast molten steel gonna make a drink before you pass out alright we do need a casting form okay so we we make that I'm guessing they're all made from blank casts in various shapes yeah looks like it so it looks like for each thing we need a blank cast. Uh, okay. Well, it's just aluminum brass. So we just add copper and aluminum together. And then we cast that. So we just need one of those per thing. One, two, three, four more. So we just need four ingots of uh, aluminum brass. And then I'm guessing it's like... Oh, it's 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 more than an ingot. 576 millibuckets. 144 millibuckets is an ingot. So what is that? Is that four ingots? No, three ingots. Three times 144. I'm not sure. Whatever 576 divided by 144 is. Okay, so digging the hole underground before was maybe overkill. Although, I think for a while this 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 dirt wasn't here, and this was just an open uh, entry. I think we maybe lost a piece of glass at some point. Alright, we still have a couple of hours. Uh, baked potatoes are still being cooked. Alright, so we're going to need some steel. We might have enough steel. Is it the same amount of steel for each one? 
just got a shower and get ready for bed. All right. Back if I'm still on. Uh, I don't know. I'll be here for like another half hour. I don't think I'll be doing a, an extra long stream today. I uh, want to still try to <laughs> get some rest before work tomorrow. I uh, appreciate it, Foxy. Hope you have a good night. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Alright, so I think we can... Maybe we can get this done, though. So what do we need to shape? We need a hammer and a file. That, at least, then unlocks us to get the um, vacuum tubes, which will allow, to, allow us to start seeing circuits. We still will need to do the resistor. Um, and then basic crafting machine halls is interesting. So here we go, LV machine casing and LV machine hall. So it's just... <laughs> it's just it's just steel plates it's eight steel plates a steel plate being um, well if we use the porch hammer two steel plates is uh, three steel ingots so four times 12 12 ingots so this is why we need to continuously make steel like we are just looking at these two quests we're talking about so much steel. All right, but before any of that, we have to survive this next part, which is uh, uh, let me uh, take a look here. Do we have any nearby creepers? Just spiders here. Skeleton over there. Creeper down there, although he may be below ground. Okay, I think this might be manageable. Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna run for it that way. Oh, there's a creeper. What kind of creeper is that, I wonder? What does it do? Ooh, that was really weird. It looked like it was a, a spider with really long legs. What, what are you? You're a tough spider, huh? You're not hostile right now. But you will be later. He is a tough spider, isn't he? Mm-hmm. You anything special? No, you're just kind of a, a normal spider, aren't you? Oh, here's a creeper. Hydrate. All right, you got it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Uh, whatever key I hit on my keyboard did... Oh, I have changed my key map. What mode am I in right now? Ah, that mode, okay. There we go, perfect. What kind of creeper are you? You're a doom creeper. What does a doom creeper do? Do I want to know? Uh, that, that's fine. 
I, I don't feel... Hey, welcome back, Alex. There was something called the Doom Creeper. It's kind of a grayish, like a visible, like, uh, rib cage on it. Very odd. We have these spiders that are hanging out here, too. I might just deal with them. A baby spider. Bye-bye. You. You are a giant spider. Uh, we can take you. Okay, cool. That should be good enough. I think there was a skeleton over here somewhere, but he's probably despawned by now. Mmm, Coco would be good. So, what was they doing? Oh yeah, steel. Uh, biggest thing is, are we still making steel? Is steel production still going? Uh, honestly, if I have time, probably the most important thing I could do is like, I might just do like some base work or, oh, this is full of, oh, that's unfortunate. And we're out of coal dust too. Like, just keeping this stuff going, it, like AFK and, uh, and, and that sort of work might be something to happen. Because we have, we have 39 steel. I think that might actually be enough for us to progress, but long term is not going to be enough. <laughs> We're going to need so much more. Um, let's... Okay, so we got, we got 39 steel ingots. Isn't that amazing? So I think maybe that we can use charcoal in here. I just did it wrong before. That'd be really great. That would make things a lot simpler. Does this work? Yes. Okay. Good. That's what I was thinking at the beginning of this. And I think what threw me off is there were some old ashes in here. And it messed up the... There wasn't room for all the output. So it didn't do anything. So that basically means like we can get wood from whatever. Put it in the coke ovens to turn it into charcoal. And charcoal can go in here with iron. Uh, and I'll just have to keep, you know, mining iron. Although we have a good amount. I mean, we don't, but we have about a thousand ingots of iron. Um, what is the ratio on that? That is, that is one to one. Right? So that, that that could be a lot of steel, as long as we keep up the charcoal. That's why, why we might need the lumber axe. Unless I spend a lot of... Uh... Oh yeah, I need the tools as well. I need the file and the hammer. I'm gonna work on the steel molds. And so for now, I don't really need these wires on me, so I'm gonna put them right here. Uh, or the rubber, or the coal dust. Uh, the string I have a spot for, okay. Um, honestly, I think maybe the most important thing I could be doing in terms of like off stream stuff could be like, making a bigger area for the base, making drawers to put stuff away. Because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to find things and do things real soon. Okay, but for now, I wanna focus on doing the rest of these molds. Because that seems like an important thing to do. And I just need to make sure I grab the tools that I need. So file and the hammer. Uh, so the file, we 
can make a better file. Um, I think I want to make a steel file. If I can. Can I do this? Is it the same recipe? Even going up to steel? Yes. Oh yeah, I like Dr. Pepper too. I don't <laughs> I don't I don't drink a lot of soda anymore, but that is uh, uh, a um, a favorite from my childhood. There we go. So the the bronze file, nineteen thousand two hundred durability. Steel file fifty one thousand, which is not surprising. <laughs> thinking about you know the mechanics of a, a bronze file versus a steel one, but uh, anyway. All right, so I think that's what we need to go over and work on these uh, steel uh, molds. There are a lot of mobs somewhere over there see that on the mini map not up there maybe down there I mean it seemed like a lot on the mini map anyway I don't know. Yeah, to the point where as a teenager I had like a, a two liter bottle of uh, Dr. Pepper just hanging around in my room. Just drinking that all day. Lukewarm. It, it, it's bad all around. Do not recommend. But it's what it was. All right, so we are making aluminum brass. Uh, I've forgotten how I was watching wife watching something something and the streamer was humming and it looked like <laughs> like it synced of oh, this beat <laughs> uh, let's see oh yeah copper let's go in there Um, what did I say? One, four more. So, three more ingots of aluminum brass. Do I have more aluminum in here, or did I cast all that out? There's a little bit more aluminum. Um, let me go see if the ore berries are harvestable again. I think it might be too soon. Otherwise, I could go back. Like the stream was humming, the techno beat causing that, because the wife blasted the volume. Ah, I think I understand. Can harvest. Okay, so we can get a little bit more aluminum here. Maybe. Did it end up in the water? It did. All right. Hmm. Okay, 
two. Just need one more. Uh, I'm gonna take this off and put the casting table back on. There we go. And so I think with the um, what we're trying to do here, we just need this. Just a, a blank cast. Hoping after all this melts, we'll have enough for one more um, aluminum bronze iron, molten bronze, molten aluminum. Okay, not enough copper. You're so mature, it hurts. What does it mean? <laughs> oh, another raid. Zyrth just raided with five viewers. Is that is that how you pronounce your name, Zyrth? Is that close enough? <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Second raid of the night. Um, thanks so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Cool. It's always great when the text to speech gets it right. Then I I don't have to you know figure it out myself. <laughs> welcome in. Hey, uh, let's see, who, who else we got? We got 7A443, hello, hello, Nova Shep, hey, hey. Uh, and uh, Kimbial, welcome. Zerth, but it's Zyrth, okay. I'm not sure if the time I just, I, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> anyway, welcome everyone. Uh, just keep raiding and I'll, I'll get a perfect eventually, right? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so we're uh, doing the, the usual Monday modded Minecraft uh, deal. I'm just a little short on, I guess, copper, actually, maybe. Doing blank cast to make more molds to finally, hopefully, soon... It's not been that long, but to uh, get to, to LV, just a few more steps, just, just a few more steps. <laughs> All right. Um, I need copper. I should just change my name to just Kim is fine. Uh, okay. Well, uh, hello, just Kim is fine. Welcome. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I usually stream for about three hours, sometimes a little longer depending on the day. Uh, I have been kind of recovering from like some sore throat and stuff over the weekend, so this pro this stream probably won't go um, much past the next hour. Hey, thanks for the follow. Zyrth just follow. Zyrth. Um, but I do plan on streaming my my normal days the rest of the week. Uh, it'll be different things. So I'm streaming uh, some Power World multiplayer with subs on Wednesdays. Do I have aluminum here? I'm sure I have aluminum gravel. And then um, it's a uh, viewer choice sort of situation on Friday where in the community Discord people suggest things to play. And then based on suggestions, I do a poll at the beginning of the stream. Uh, so it could be more modern Minecraft, like more great tech. It could be, yeah. Uh, text to speech is, is kind of hit or miss on my name. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it could be you know something we played before. We were talking about maybe doing multiplayer Crusader Kings 3. Uh, all of that could be up for vote. So that's what I'm doing on Fridays. Seven, yeah, exactly. And then... Um, Boop, and throw in some copper. Uh, hey, Moody Abigail. Thanks for the lurk. Yeah, Sabin is how I say it. Yep. 
Uh, and then uh, Sunday mornings, I did, I skipped last uh, yesterday's, uh, but usually on Sunday mornings I do a coding stream where I'm working on. Uh, yeah, you said it right. Yep. I, if I remember right. Let's see. I feel like I was. I was watching, um, was I watching Nova Shep stream? And then they ra rated you? I don't remember the exact order of operations there, but that was a few days ago, a week ago, some number of days ago. Do we have, do we have aluminum brass? How did I not make that? Did I, do I not remember how to make aluminum brass? It is aluminum and copper. So where did the copper go? Let me guess, the copper made more bronze because I have tin in here. Okay, well we can fix that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I was joking with the streamer the other day, too, that sometimes it can be very hard. <laughs> Especially, you know, online, people can type things that are uh, very difficult to guess how you might pronounce that when you're trying to speak it out loud. And perhaps they've not even thought of that either. We The, uh, Flooring there, the, the road material likes to throw me around a lot. Let's throw some more copper into the situation. Uh, was it Saturday? Friday? Uh, it could have been. I don't know. That seems too recent. I'm not sure. The last couple of days have been kind of a blur. I've been uh, resting and sleeping <laughs> really messing up my sleep schedule a lot trying to uh feel better but uh yeah tuesday mm. might need another cough drop after this too Ooh, almost night time At least it's not another blood moon. All right. Oh yeah, it helps if I you know keep on pulling tin out. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep on making. Uh... my thing Alex every blood moon I log off and play <laughs> uh, Balatro I don't know what that is but until it goes away <laughs> no I just uh, what I'll do is I'll just hide like I'll block off um, and I'll just like look at the quest book and stuff let time pass We have aluminum, but yeah, I think I've just been making bronze, which is not bad, but not what I want. Let's get the rest of the tin out of there. I know where all the tin came from. I don't remember leaving a bunch of tin in there. Gold and iron, sure. Uh, maybe I have some copper ore berries that are ready to be harvested. It'll be faster than running back to the other base. I think it is too soon, yeah. Um, probably time to start thinking about moving the uh, smeltery to the new place. 
or or working on uh, making a new version of the place where all of the <laughs> machinery is and I will hydrate thank you for the reminder Alex hmm while I'm here. No, I still need to be over there to cast the uh, to cast the steel. At least now we have the uh, <laughs> the the tin out of the smeltery. Should be able to finally finally finish this task. Five nuggets. Okay, that should be fine. I mean, I guess alternatively I could melt down some of the casts if I was really desperate to get something to happen. But we should get there. Uh, in the meantime, I could actually just start making the things, yeah? Um, easiest thing to do is probably to go into here. That's kind of roundabout. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Oops, too far. And this one. Okay, four. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so we can actually, you know, do the thing I said. You know, fill my inventory, as you do. I uh, probably should prioritize, you know, the, the bronze file. I feel like I unbookmarked something I wanted to bookmark. Yeah, the gear one. There we go. All right. Are we there? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Like I also did not do the thing that I said I was gonna. okay. There we go. I still have some inventory space free. Perfect. Uh, right. So I'm pretty sure it works like this. Now, how much steel do we need to make a mold? It's the same amount for each one, right? 576 millibuckets. So 288, three. Four, so it's like, is that four ingots? So roughly, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put 12 in. And we'll see how far that gets us. I mean, it's not gonna hurt to have some extra steel in the, uh, the smeltery. We can probably use that for something. So, do things like um, drawers get less expensive to make once we have an assembler? No. Hmm. 
Yes. In that the chests are cheaper. Wait, wait, hold on. Is there, is there a tiny, a baby chest? You can take a chest and make nine baby chests? Huh. Huh. Alright, 12 ingots of molten steel. Let's do some casting. Okay, so it's 4 ingots, so we needed 16. How many did I put in? 12, so we need 4 more, right? Feeling, I'm feeling good that you know we're we're actually going to be able to like we we've done uh, a bunch of quests today, uh, and we'll be able to wrap up at least one more with this, which is this thing going to show us the uh, uh, making the vacuum tubes, which I suspect we're not going to have <laughs> time to do. Hold on one sec. Snooze that a little bit. There we go. Done? Okay. Uh, and this one and the steel should be done. I'm still here. Well, oh, it is, it is past nine o'clock. I've not turned into a pumpkin yet, but anytime now. So that was 16 ingots of steel. There we go. Molds, molds, molds. Everyone likes molds, right? Okay, so. And then I can get some stuff that's gonna occupy my inventory, so I'll hold off on that. And now we can see, time for some logic. Uh, some of these things we already made, some of these things we haven't. Um, we have actually made glass dust before, but now we have a ball mold that we got from the the uh, uh, loot games dungeon. We can make glass tubes and combine that with the other stuff we've been making to make vacuum tubes. I'm gonna get some cooked turkey. All right, and then other things. Ooh, pumping water. Machine hauls. Okay. So today, what do we? What did we do today? So um, I did between streams go to the Nether and get all the the um, sulfur, but we, you know, processed some of it. We got all the materials ready. We made all the uh, rubber bars. We uh, made all the wire. We made the uh, the raw iron. Mm, excuse me. Made the molds, um, and that's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. And now it's night. Okay. So. I think though that basically all the molds are being used for uh, the the alloy smelter, alloy, alloy something. Hold on, we'll check the name of it in a second. We, all right, this is still going. That's good. More steel. More steel is good. Gonna need all the steel. Speaking of which, let's put that back, leaving us with 24 ingots. Um, so something I'm curious about, look, we can make baby chests. What does a baby chest do? Hold on, I, I just, I have to know. What does that do? 
Aww. And you can open it? <laughs> okay. That is, um... Something. That, that could be situationally useful. But guess what? <laughs> you have to use the compressor to put them back together. Uh, but that's not what I have out right now. So instead of having inventory space, we instead have a thing that's going to take more inventory space. <laughs> Okay, uh, yep, I'm gonna throw down another random chest. There we go, more, more things. Okay, uh, right, the steam alloy smelter, that's what it is. Um, is something that we probably are gonna use these, these casts with, like if you look at gear. Alloy smelter, we can take ingots and make gears in the alloy smelter. Okay. Um, but yeah. So a lot of things they're gonna unlock. I mean, that, 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 that's gonna be the story of this whole mod pack is, right? Things that we will make to unlock things to make, to unlock things to make. You know, continuing on, uh, you know. I'm sorry. Starting from where we started in this, well, Stone Age, Steam, Low Voltage, Medium, High Voltage, Extreme Voltage, Insane Voltage, Ludicrous Voltage, Zero Point, mul uh, zero, zero point Module. I don't even know what UV stands for here. On and on it goes. Where it stops. I'm, I'm not intimidated. Ultra voltage. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess it could be ultra. Feels like not, like once you pass ludicrous, which is what I assume the LUV stands for, and zero point module, you've kind of, you've broken the pattern, but whatever. I'm not judging. All right, there's so much. Bees, let me do some bee stuff. All right, but that's enough for today. <laughs>